everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Angie from Burton Avenue and I want to show you how to make amazing things with your Cricut. Welcome to day five of my 25 Days of Craftmas series where I show you how to make 25 different Christmas projects using your cutting machine. And I also share the SVG files I use to make the projects for free, so you can make them at home. Today, I'm showing you how to make this giant Christmas countdown sign. Aren't those little buckets cute? This sign is perfect for when you want to give away a small treat or toy as the kids count down the days till Christmas. Let's go take a look at the supply list and get started. For this project, you're going to need eight 15 inch by three and a half inch pieces of wood for the slats on the sign. You're going to need two 14 inch pieces for the wood supports on the back. You're going to need 25 tin buckets, which I got on Amazon, wire brad nails and a hammer, red vinyl, white paint and a paintbrush, sandpaper and wood glue, a ruler, Christmas embellishments for the top of the sign, a weeding tool and a scraper, transfer tape, and of course your Cricut machine, a cutting mat, and the cut file. So let's grab those supplies and then head over to your computer. So the first thing we need to do is grab the SVG file we'll be using for this project. You can get it for free on my blog at BurtonAvenue.com. I keep all the SVG files for the projects I make and share in my free SVG library. These files will work with all kinds of cutting machines and are free to everyone. Once you're on my site, just click on free SVG files and then free SVG library. You will need a password to get into the library and there are instructions on the screen if you need to get one. Once you're in the library, you can search for the file Countdown to Christmas. It will either be listed under the most recent project and cut files or under the category Craftmas 2020 Day 5. You can also use your browser search to find it. Once you've found the file, go ahead and click on it and the file will be downloaded onto your computer. Now when you download files online, they usually come in a zipped folder and you'll need to extract them before you can use them in your software. To do this, you're going to go to the destination where your downloaded files are saved. There you should see the zipped folder that we just downloaded. Double click on that and a new window will pop open. Somewhere you should see the option to extract all or unzip all or something like that. Click on that and another window will open and on that window, you'll see the destination where the unzipped files are going to be saved. Be sure to remember that location because you'll have to get to it once you're in Cricut Design Space. So go ahead and click on Extract. And those files will be unzipped and ready to use in Cricut Design Space. So let's go over to Design Space and start a new project. Once you're on the Canvas screen, you're going to go over and click on the Upload button and then click on Upload Image, and then select Browse. Now you need to go to the folder where your unzipped files were saved. In the folder, you'll see lots of different file types, and you need to find the one that says SVG Document. Now, sometimes the SVG files will appear as a Chrome HTML document or something like that. So if you don't see SVG file in the list, be sure to look for something like that instead. So select the SVG file and then choose open. Make sure it's the file that you want to work with and then choose save. Then select the file one more time and choose insert images. And now your design will appear on the canvas screen. So the only thing we need to do with this design is resize it so it will fit on our board and we're going to change the width to 13.5 inches. Okay, now it is sized to fit on our sign. So the last thing we're going to do is right click 
and choose attach. And that will just keep all of these numbers and letters in the same order we see them on our screen. So now you can go up and click on the green make it button. Now, since this design is 13 and a half inches wide, we are going to have to use a bigger cutting mat. And this little notification up at the top just lets us know that. So we're gonna click OK, and then we'll click Continue. Once Design Space finds your machine, you'll be taken to this screen. Make sure that your dial is set to vinyl, and then you can go load the vinyl on your mat. Place a large piece of red vinyl onto your 12 inch by 24 inch cutting mat and smooth it out so there aren't any wrinkles or bubbles. Then load it into your cutting machine by pressing the up and down arrow button. Once the Cricut is ready to cut, you'll see the C button light up. Press that and the machine will begin cutting. Once everything has finished cutting, press the up and down arrow button again to unload the mat. Now that everything is finished cutting, it's time to weed away the excess vinyl. And this just means we're going to pull off the vinyl that we don't want left on the design. You can use a weeding tool or a craft knife to pull out any tiny pieces inside of the letters or numbers. Now that everything's weeded, we are going to apply the transfer tape. So grab some transfer tape and cut a piece a little bit bigger than the design. Place the transfer tape sticky side up on your surface and then place the vinyl on top of that. Smooth everything down, then trim off the excess transfer tape and vinyl backing. Now rub over your design again with your scraper just to make sure that everything is sticking where it's supposed to. Then you can cut apart all of the numbers. Now we're going to apply the numbers onto our little tin buckets. Start by grabbing one of the numbers and removing the vinyl backing. Then center the number on the metal pill and rub over it with your thumb. Then pull off the transfer tape. Rub over the number again and try to push it down into those little ridges of the bucket. Then repeat this step with the other 24 buckets. Now it's time to work on our wooden sign. To make this sign, you'll need eight wooden slats that measure about 15 inches by three and a half inches. You'll also need two pieces of wood for the supports that measure about 14 inches long. I use poplar for the slat signs and furring strips for my supports. Start by sanding all of the wooden slats. As you're sanding, take a look at each slat and place the best looking side down on your work surface. That will be the front of the sign. After you've sanded all of the slats, put some wood glue onto your support pieces and place them across the slats. Then put something heavy on top of your supports to help push them down. Once the glue has dried, it's time to paint. And we're just going to paint this sign all white. So paint on a few light coats of white paint. You'll probably need to do two or three coats to get a nice even look on your sign. Now we are going to mark the locations where the nails are going to go. You'll want to make these marks at the top of the very bottom slat. So grab a ruler and make marks at two inches, 4.75 inches, 7.5 inches, 10.25 inches, and 13 inches. Now you want to make the same marks on the next four slats. By the time you're done, you should have 25 marks on your sign. Now we're going to apply the vinyl lettering to our wood sign. Take your vinyl lettering and rub over it one more time with your scraper. Then flip it over and carefully pull off the vinyl backing. Centered the design on the sign. Be sure you have placed it above all of those nail hole markings. Once it's in place, rub over the design again with your scraper. Then remove the transfer tape.
Now we're going to work on adding some embellishments to the top of the sign. You can find a cute Christmas bow and glue it to the top. I also thought it looked really cute to glue in some Christmas floral picks under the bow. Once everything's glued into place, fluff your bow around the Christmas picks so that everything looks good. The last thing we need to do is hammer in some nails so our little buckets have something to hang on. I'm using these little wire nails. They are long and skinny and the nail head will stop the buckets from sliding off. Tap the nails into all 25 marks you made before. Tap the nails in far enough that they are secure, but leave enough sticking out so the buckets can hang straight on them. Once you've got everything nailed into place, fill up each bucket with a sweet Christmas treat and hang them on the nails. Now you're ready to start counting the days till Christmas. Thanks for joining me on day five of my 25 days of Craftmas series. If you like this project, be sure to like and subscribe so you'll get notified each time I post something new. See ya.